Today we're making this quick and easy Easter treat for kids. Homemade Rice Krispie treats decked out in festive holiday sweets. Perfect for the upcoming holiday. We're making two batches for a total of 24, so let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to need our trusty 9 by 13 inch baking dish. We're also going to line it with parchment paper for easy removal. And to guarantee our sticky treats don't stick to anything, we're going to lightly spray our parchment paper with non-stick cooking spray. Okay, set that off to the side. Let's make the Rice Krispies. If you have a family favorite recipe, use that. Otherwise, you're going to need a quarter cup of salted butter. We're going to melt this along with a full 10 ounce bag of mini marshmallows. If you want a peanut butter version of this delicious treat, you're in luck. I'll put a link to that video down below in this video's description box. We're going to melt this over medium heat until all the marshmallows have melted. Sometimes I like to leave them almost melted so when you bite into the treat, every so often you'll come across a spot of concentrated marshmallows. Mmm, yum. <laughs> Once melted, mix in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Be sure to turn off the heat at this point and then dump in six cups of the Rice Krispies cereal. Give everything a good mix and then transfer it to your prepared baking dish. We're going to spread this out as evenly as we can. If you need to use your hands, I suggest giving the palms of your hands a light mist with your cooking spray so nothing sticks to you. We're going to press everything down as firmly as we can. If you'd rather not touch anything with your hands, you can always spray a piece of parchment paper and flatten everything like so. Both ways will get the job done. The one on the left was done by hand and the one on the right was with parchment paper. Okay, we're gonna let those set until they're firm enough to slice into. In the meantime, here's what you'll need to decorate your treats. I'm using these melting candies I picked up from Hobby Lobby. The brand is called Make and Mold. These festive spring themed sprinkles I got from Walmart and you're gonna need some peeps. I picked the bunnies because they have a more flatter surface than the chicks, which will make packaging them up a lot easier later. Now you can of course just pull the peeps apart to separate them, but I don't want to risk distorting them in any way, so for me slicing is the way to go. Now that we've looked at everything and prepared what we can, the Rice Krispies are ready to slice. Turn your Rice Krispies out onto a piece of parchment paper, pick the shorter end, line up your peeps evenly, and slice out little squares for each bunny. If your edges are a bit rough, you can trim them up. I know I did. That was bothering me. Just be sure to give each bunny a little bit of a border on all sides. That looks perfect. Now remove the peeps, grab a pre-cut square, and use that as a template to cut the remaining squares. I love these little trimmings. Set them all to the side. It's the baker's snack for later. <laughs> Evenly space out your treats like so. We're gonna add on the chocolate and just to be on the safe side, we're giving enough room between each one for any accidental overflow. For the chocolate, we're gonna start with our base layer, which will be these milk chocolate candy melts. We're gonna microwave this for up to a minute and a half, stirring every 20 seconds or so. Seriously, stop that microwave and stir every 20 seconds. We do not want to burn our chocolate. Now that the chocolate is melted, it does seem a little on the thicker side. So if you'd like to thin out your chocolate so it flows better, just add in a small teaspoon or less of any flavorless odorless oil. I always use vegetable oil when I thin out my melting chocolates. A little goes a long way so that's all you need is just a little. Toss your chocolate into a piping bag or sandwich baggie, snip off the tip, and drizzle it all over each bar like so. Keep going until you've covered each one. And here's where I ran out of chocolate. I thought I had melted enough. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> okay, they're all covered. Now it's time to repeat the same process with our accent color. I picked blue, but Hobby Lobby has a ton of colors to choose from. Same thing as before, we're just gonna drizzle on our accent color, but before we jump to the next bar, we're gonna add on our sprinkles before the chocolate has a chance to set. Since we are putting a peep in the center of each treat. Technically, no, you don't have to put sprinkles in the middle. Just on the edges is fine. But this container of sprinkles is huge, so I'm just gonna put it all over. <laughs> Look at that, a sea of sugary goodness. Oh my. <laughs> Lastly, we're gonna glue on our peeps using a little bit of leftover chocolate drizzle. Just apply a generous blob of chocolate to the bottom, center your peep, and press it down. Give it a few minutes, about 10 to 15 minutes to fully set, and then they'll be good to go. If you're making two batches of treats and you've purchased four containers of peeps, this should be all that remains after you've decorated each treat. I think one of my kids snagged a pink peep when I wasn't looking. <laughs> and there you have it, just give these a few minutes to fully set before you package them up. To package them up, simply grab a small thing of plastic wrap, place your treat upside down on the wrap, bring up one end, tuck and roll, twist the ends, and tuck those underneath. Super simple and easy to do.
Yes, you can make these a day in advance as long as you wrap each treat like so. The peeps should not dry up, they'll be fine. I did eat one the following day and it was totally fine. Here's an ingredients list, also located in the video's description box. Be sure to check out that link in there too if you want to make the peanut butter version. Thanks for watching, I hope I've inspired you to jump in the kitchen and make something fun for your friends and family. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so so you don't miss out and I'll see you all in the next video.